Today we're in Isaiah chapter 22. And Isaiah, this great, powerful prophet of Israel, has a strong word for the city of Jerusalem, for the inhabitants of Jerusalem. It seems after a great victory that God had given them, that instead of responding in thanksgiving, instead of worshiping God, and instead of demonstrating great faith and devotion, well, they fall into all this carnality, partying and uh, fleshly practices and all this thing. So, so Isaiah comes and he gives a strong word. He says, the burden against the valley of vision. What ails you now that you have all gone up to the housetops, full of noise and a tumultuous city, a, a joyous city? Your slain men are not slain with the sword. In other words, you won the battle, but instead of giving thanks to God, you guys are just fleshly partying. And he calls it the Valley of Vision. And here's the strange thing. Jerusalem's not a valley. In fact, it has Mount Zion there. It's got hills around it, but it's certainly not a valley. So when he calls them a Valley of Vision, I think what he's saying is they've sunk to a low place that they're in a place of kind of spiritual desolation. It reminds me of when King David said, yea, though I walk through the valley, and he called it the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. It wasn't that he was literally walking through a valley, but when someone died or when you're approaching death, he says it feels like you're in a valley. And so Isaiah calls Jerusalem a valley because the people had Given a, been given a great victory over their enemy, and instead of rejoicing in God, well, they turned to fleshly carnality and all the other different types of things that God said, well, I'm going to have to deal with you. What's our takeaway? What's our response to Isaiah chapter 22? God has given us a great victory over our enemy. He's brought us salvation. He's freed us. He set us free from the penalty of sin. And so how do we respond? Do we respond with thanksgiving and praise and gratitude or continue living a life of fleshly desire to sink back into, so to speak, the valley? Isaiah reminds us that God's given us a victory and he has a certain expectation of how we should respond, not in the valley of fleshly pursuits, but to come to the Lord with thanksgiving and praise. Isaiah, a stern word, and he even called Jerusalem a valley.